when shit gets hard, you fall back to what you believe. If you believe that you are not worthy, you believe that you cannot achieve it, you believe that you're too weak, too stupid, too ugly, Yeah, you're right. Do you believe that you're going to be a successful realtor? 100%. Life is already hard enough. Mm -hmm. And so if you are constantly chasing the negativity, you're just only making it harder for yourself. I believe I can fly. <laughs> I believe I can touch the sky. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of the Winners Club Podcast. And that was a glimpse of what this episode is going to be about, okay? My name is Brian Tran, your host. I got my co-host here, PJ Padua. What's up, guys? How you doing? This is the number one business podcast in the making. Here, we talk about everything that's going to just help you become better in life, more financially free, avoid all the mistakes I've made, and hopefully learn something. You know what I mean? I believe that they will learn something, man. Our show is good, and if you guys are listening, you know, you want to be trained by an entrepreneur has done things, has has been through the fires, has built a couple businesses, man. This is the place to listen to, man. Brian has a lot of knowledge. He shares everything here for you guys. You know, this is a community here, guys. So if you guys want to learn, you know, business, this is the place to be. So, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This isn't like a... Oh, I built the business 10 years ago, and now I'm talking about it. We're yeah. still building. Yes, sir. We're building new businesses. You know, we got some old businesses that are still cranking. I'm in the trenches, y'all. Yeah, man. Always you know? working. So it's going to be a fire episode, guys. Let's get straight into it, man. I, I just, believe <laughs> I can touch the sky. That's a good, that's a good segue, because today, guys, we're going to talk about all about belief, man. Because in my opinion, whether or not you want to start a business, do some great shiznit in your life, you have to believe first, and yeah. I just want to talk about that, man. What do you think about uh, the belief in in business and you know doing great things? Do you think it's important? Hundred percent. Whether you think you can or you cannot, you are correct. Yeah. Right. Whether you think you can achieve greatness, you're correct. But if you, most people always go the opposite and shy away from it or don't think that they're worthy of it, you're correct too. The mind is very powerful because, I mean, as much as we talk about mindset, and we were talking about this today. Mindset is so basic. Yeah. But so hard to master. Yeah. That when you read all these books, it's all the same shit. It's all yeah. rah rah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, okay, but why do they keep bringing it up? Because when shit gets hard, you fall back to what y you believe. Yeah. Right? And if you believe that you are not worthy, you believe that you cannot achieve it, you believe that you're too weak, too stupid, too ugly. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. That's a mindset thing. For sure. So even when shit hits the fan for me, when things don't go right and things everything goes left and I feel like everything's collapsing around me, my belief is like, dude, I'm strong, I'm smart, I'm going to do this, and if I continue to push through, I'm going to have a brighter day. Today may be hard, but tomorrow is going to be better. Okay? Yeah. And that's the truth. Yeah. So, yes. Like, in, when I just got into the business, I started out as a realtor, 21 years old. Yeah. Most people be like, yo, you're not going to be able to sell any houses. And For if you sure. believe that's true, yeah. you won't not sell a single house. Yeah. But of course, is it going to be easier for you as a 21 year old or maybe later on as you're 30? Yeah. It's probably going to be easier when you're 30. I get that because you're going to have more relationships. You're going to have more friends that are going to yeah. be buying properties and stuff like that. But at 21, you just got to go make, go out there and just put in more effort. Yeah. Let me ask you, did you, did you believe that you were going to be a successful realtor? hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, because I knew that I could control my output, uh -huh. the work. Yeah. So I may have to do seven open houses before I get one client, whereas somebody else could do one and get one client. Yeah. I get that because end of the day, people talk about discrimination. People talk about like prejudice and all that stuff. It is what it is. Yeah. They're going to judge you on your age. They're going to judge you on your color. They're going to judge you on everything. Yeah. You just have to work harder. Yeah. Like that's the truth. Yeah. So that's what I did. I was like, dude, I, I kind of already corrected my mindset. I was like, dude, well, no matter what, I'm going to have to work harder than the next guy. Yeah. Right? Like, in my office, I was the youngest guy. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I got to work harder than all of them. I yeah. have to, I can't control if people are going to choose me because, you know, at the end of the day, yes. Did I lose business? Hell yeah. 21-year-old kid walking around in a suit that's too big yeah. into a house. Yeah. They don't trust me to sell the house. I get that. Yeah. But if I go on in enough appointments, I'll get somebody. Yeah. I'll get somebody to trust me and believe in me and, and, and allow me to sell their house. Yeah. Guess what? That's exactly what happened. 
Yeah. So my conversion rates were low. And as I got older, it got better. Mm -hmm. Maybe because I had the track record and then I started to look a little older. Yeah. Um, but that's just the truth. Yeah. When I started my first coffee shop that failed, I thought I was going to make it. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. But like the mind is so powerful. Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, it's like, dude, because it's already hard enough. Mm -hmm. Life is already hard enough. Mm -hmm. And so if you are constantly chasing the negativity, you're just only making it harder for yourself. Yeah, that's true. Because I think it's all a choice at the end of the day. It's mm -hmm. like, do you want to believe in, you know, the great things and positive things in the world that, you know, you could do for yourself? Or do you want to believe all the negative limits that you basically set on yourself? It is a choice, right? Like you could choose to wake up and be like, hey, today's a great day. You could choose to be like, today's is going to suck like every single day. And that's a choice. The cool thing, too, this is a business podcast. This isn't like an athlete podcast, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's and so in business, it's actually a little bit more fair than anything else. That's why I enjoy it. As a yeah. sport, business is like the, the most fair. Yeah. Because you don't have to be like tall. You don't have to be strong. Yeah. You just have to put in the work. Yeah. Hire the right people. If you're not smart enough to do something, you got to be able to leverage you know, other people's skills and other people's strength. Yeah, that's actually very true. It's kind of easy. Yeah. Whereas, like, like you know, you can't believe that I'm going to be an NBA star. It's just not going to work. I believe in you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Standing at six feet, you can sure. get a point guard. <laughs> sure. But in business, you can yeah. believe, like, look, I I believe this year we'll hit four or five million dollars in yeah. revenue. Yeah. I mean, like, in, in net in net income. Like, yeah, yeah you there can There is make it something happen. you could always do to, to get you to that goal. Opposed yeah. to, like, you know, I, I wish I was taller. That doesn't really... Yeah, that's true. That's why I like business, man. Me business too. is like, and I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Like, it is easier depending on your, if you're a male, female, yeah. race. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be the first to probably tell you that right now, that it, it, depending on what industry you're in, it is easier. But that isn't a handicap. You yeah, just got to work sure. harder. I like that. That's life. I like that, man. I like that, but... Let's take it back a little bit more uh, about like the concept of belief. And let's say you have somebody, the avatar is, you know, this guy's listening to the podcast is like, Brian, I mean, that's cool for you to say, you know, you got all this stuff done, but you know, I'm over here, college dropout, no degree, you know, I have no job, no girlfriend, like now more than why ever, should I believe that I'm going to be doing anything great? You got to look back at history. Yeah. I, I, I'm a, I'm, I'm a big history guy okay because i do like to read autobiographies and then see like a lot of these guys that do great things they don't have a college degree they didn't come from money yeah and so when i see other people achieve that greatness mm -hmm. i know that i can do it too yeah you know and uh i say it all the time man you gotta have you gotta believe and you gotta have faith yeah you gotta push through but you also gotta put in the work yeah I, I, nothing I, will work unless you work yeah and believe and believe that is true <laughs> as cliche as it sounds so, nothing uh, will work we're unless, get a lot of hate yeah we're gonna get a lot of hate because i'm like yo that's the stupidest shit I've ever heard it's so easy like it's so simple the most simple things in life are also the most hardest to basically do yeah you know no for sure sure it's simple i mean it's simple practice right you do the work you believe the work's gonna is gonna pay off that's why you continue to work and then you get you get the fruit you get the fruit at the end of the uh, end of the journey, but to remind yourself, that's why, like you said, mindset is important. It's like okay, three hundred sixty-five days, everything's kind of been the same. You know, it's it's tougher, right? That's why you have to lean on the belief, right? Like but a lot of times too, like you know, even stemming out more from the belief, it's like, are you like look at your actions? Yeah, I like the the, 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 lis the listener who's listening. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want you to just think that if you just believe in yourself and and believe that. You're going to make it that that's enough. No, yeah. man. Like it's, that's only the first part. Mm -hmm. And the second part is you got to put in the work and fuck up, fail, yeah. get back up yeah, and keep going. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I agree. I think, I think just, you know, for the listeners are like, oh, you know, I'm just going to believe it. I'm going to be rich like tomorrow or I'm going to be, you know, a, you know, somebody who's worthy of being like aspirational to other people or being a leader. It's not just magically just believing. Like I would say that in a combination, you have to go do things that have kind of high risk, right? Like 
that is challenging to you, right? If you want to break the mold of like, oh, I'm just this average guy. It's like, all right, go do something hard, do something risky, do something that's like out of your comfort zone, whether that might be, I mean, you could freaking go to a, talk to like 10 girls at a bar. And if you're someone who's shy, that might build some type of confidence and belief that's like, oh shit. Like, but if you, if you get rejected 10 times, some people might, it might break them. You think so? <laughs> but think it's, so. it's, it's, it's kind of in the light, but that's why you got to believe. But it goes, yeah. And then it goes back to your mindset. How strong are you? That's, hey, that's, I think that's a good analogy though, too. It's like, Hey, you, Freaking ten girls like turn you down, get rejected. What does that mean there? It's like, oh, I'm I'm not meant to date women. <laughs> you know, that's yeah. not what it means. Some, well, some people do take it the wrong way. Yeah, that's the funny part, and yeah. I think that's where you have to just sit back and be like, okay, well, what went wrong? Yeah. Okay, maybe I'll say this next. Yeah. And maybe I'll do this next. Yeah. And then I'll be more successful. Yeah. That's I, part of the journey. Yeah, I, I definitely do. I think giving yourself credit for doing something. That scares the shit out of you as well is, yeah. you know, I think that's in correlation to like, all right, cool. If I could, you know, maybe if, if I could lose weight, if I could lose 50 pounds and I believe in myself that I could do this small wins, right? Stack small wins to have this like grander belief. Yeah. You know, you know, the one thing that I think I was gifted with was the, the, the power to dream and the power to believe. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know what it was, but I always knew that I was going to be rich. I mean, yeah. I mean, just. Talking to you, you kind of had that very, very, like, young. Like, I wanted it. That's what I'm saying. Then like, I knew it was mine. Yeah. Then I took it. Yeah. That's very, like, that's interesting because you were probably, what, like, 8, 10, around those years when you were like, I want I want money. Hell yeah, because I grew up in Oakland, dude. I knew life sucked. Now nah, I get that then. Maybe like, that. I, at least I, I, you know, that's the, another thing is that I always was able to see, like, um, it's kind of weird. Like I kind of look at myself, mm -hmm. like in the in the cartoons where it's like the the, the body kind of leaves the soul leaves the yeah, body, yeah, yeah, and the soul looks down at the body, yeah. And I and I remember just sitting there. I'm like, dude, this fucking sucks. Yeah, yeah. At an early age, I knew that this sucked. Yeah, because you watch TV and you're like, what the fuck? These kids in the show get to fucking ride skateboards, ride bikes, go yeah. do karate and all that stuff, and I'm stuck here at home watching basic TV, no freaking cable. Yeah. No yard. Yeah. Freaking. Can't even go like outside. Harley Davidson. Tell scary. Harley, yeah, dude. Like my mom's telling me that don't go outside by yourself because it's Oakland. Yada, yada, yada. I'm like, yeah, no, nah, this sucks. So yeah. I'm like, yo, something's going to change when I have when I have money. I'm going to live a good life. And I knew that shit early on. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. I think because maybe like the way you had it, it just really did influence. Because I remember for me, like the only thing is I was just like, damn, like I don't like working this nine to five job. I never worked a nine to five job either. I mean, I knew I hated it. You said you worked the corn dog station with your your yeah, cousin. That's, help, that's, <laughs> how, that's, that's helping my cousin. I could have walked that any time. Yeah. It was like once a week. You know what I mean? All right, all right. But I never worked. I never like went and got a Jamba Juice job. I never like. I don't know why. It's like I just. I knew I couldn't do it. Yeah. And all my friends were like, "Dude, just submit your application, submit your resume." I'm like, "Nah, I'm yeah. good." Yeah. I'm good. I'd rather cut hair. I'd rather work for myself, work, make my own schedule. I mean, you already knew you were going to be rich, so I guess it didn't really play in time. And I knew the Back. rich don't, like, it's very hard to get rich working for somebody else. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, but then years later, I came back, opened a coffee shop, and I did everything. I was a janitor. Yeah. I was a freaking cook. I was a freaking barista. I was yeah. a, the, the guy who ran to buy groceries. Yeah. So I took, you know, I've had many jobs, but they were all for me. Yeah. You know, working for me. Okay. Um. But going back to the belief, going not, back there's, to the, there's only so much I can yeah. say about that. I mean, I'm just going to say this you know, to yeah. all the listeners. Like, if you want something big and, and worth it, like, it's going to start with belief. Mm -hmm. You know, that shit might scare you, you know, whether your goal is a billion dollars or, you know, owning a private jet or whatever. But you, it's going to start with belief. Like, it has to come from there. And there's going to be a lot of times where you probably don't even really believe it. But that's probably just, you know, your sub your subconscious, you know. Your I'll give you as an example, actually. That's a really important thing. Why, yeah. like, I got a lot of friends that see what I do. Yeah. They see the life we live. And they're like, dude, like, I wish I could, like, go and create my own job and, and you know, have control of my income. Mm -hmm. Rather than clocking in, clocking out, only getting paid, like, whatever they make. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm like, why don't you? Mm -hmm. And they go, yeah, I could never. <sighs> All right, don't do it then. Yeah. Stay where you are. Yeah. But that goes back to it's like because you don't believe you can do it. That's why you'll never quit your job. Yeah. Like you don't even have an ounce of belief in yourself. Yeah. So I'm like, all right. Yeah. 
I mean, I think and I'm a, let's piss off some people. Let's go. Let's, you ready to piss off some people? All right, go. That's why they ain't got the shit we got. Yeah. They I've, don't have the freedom. They don't. They can't take the vacations we take. Yeah. They can't drive the cars we drive. Yeah. And then I'm like, you know, my group of friends now, my circle. I'm looking at them. And we we have this conversation all the time because we have, you know, friends that are that we're trying to help. But I'm like, bro. I can't help somebody that don't believe in themselves. Yeah, like, I can't believe for you. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that that is that is crazy because, you know, just even that kind of hinders, you know, conversations and, like, relationships that, like, you can't have. It's like, it's not fun, man. It's like, I can't even, like, hype you up and be like, oh, dude, you should get that new uh, Mercedes next year. And they're like, nah, I can't. Nah, nah, I, can't nah. Nah. I was like, bro, what do we talk about then? You know, so. You know, it's actually kind of crazy. This is a little off topic, but good. I was talking, uh, you know, we're, we're going on uh we're planning our boys' trip mm-hmm. next month, and we're like, you know, the conversations are a little bit different. Yeah, it's it's like we don't talk money. Okay, we don't talk money. Yeah, because it, it's just irrelevant. Mm-hmm. We, we, you know, the value is not the money. The value is the fun. Yeah, and you can't put a price on fun. And then we we all sat there. We were smoking cigars, and we were talking about the stuff that we wanted to do, where we're gonna fly, where we're gonna stay, mm-hmm. and then it just kind of like dawned on us, like, holy shit, like. Who do we invite? Because now not everybody can roll like roll that. like this. Yeah. You know, and I, I'll be honest, I don't kind of don't want to bring them because I don't want to like, I don't want to put a price on my fun. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I've, and then I've been with people where we couldn't do certain things yeah. because money became an issue. Yeah. And I'm like, shit. Yeah. That's tough because even sometimes people, you know, people uh, camouflage it like, oh, no, that doesn't sound fun. Oh, yeah, it doesn't sound fun. I don't want to do that. Yeah. And it's like, bro, if you, you know, like, if so you had I the mean, money, you would just be like, all right, yeah, let's go. Let's so the, I mean, it, I, and, and going back to it, I'm like, I'm so glad that I made the sacrifices I made mm-hmm. and I believed that I could do it, yeah. that today I could live this life. Yeah. And there's still more to it. I mean, yeah, yeah. we can't, none of us are flying private. Yeah. Okay. And, and, you know, there's levels to this, but sure. I'm just like, yo, we're going to get there. But right now it's like, at least for what we're planning, it's going to be a blast. And uh, nobody cares about how much to spend 10, yeah. 15, 20,000 for seven days, something yeah. like that, you know? See, that's awesome. man. I think that's the cool thing about believing, you know, like even, even and I if, believe that that's just the start. Yeah. And I believe that that's okay. Yeah. And if you're listening to this and you're like, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Why would you spend 15, 20,000 on a seven day trip? Mm, well, Wrong question, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should be asking, what's 15, 20,000 yeah. to me? Yeah. You know? For sure. For sure. Can't what can it. I do with 20,000? You know? You know, you asked me earlier, like, why'd you buy the truck? Because I can. I don't know. 80,000? I just dropped 80. Like, yo, because I can. Yeah. That's because cool. I worked hard. Because I believed in myself. Yeah, I and believe you deserve I'm wor- it, man. I believe I'm worthy. For sure, bro. Hard. You believed. I work hard. You believe. Right? And I think that's the cool thing, right, about believing. It's like, man, like, even if you don't have anything, like, it's way better to be around people who are just like, you know, I believe. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Instead of, I mean, I don't know what people do. You know, like, even with the social media that we're launching now, it's like, you know, I, 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 I be honest with you guys right now, the listeners, we're not by no means successful. Yeah. But I believe that this will become successful. Yeah. And that's why I can, t- you know, when I think about, oh, man, why am I doing this? Yeah. Oh, man, like I'm spending X amount every single month to to freaking film, edit. Yeah. Spending all this time when I could be doing something else. Yeah. But I believe this will work. I believe that the reach that we're making today, the impact that we're making is going to propel the business. It's going to go somewhere. I think so, too. So it's like. When I think about quitting, I, I I revert back to my beliefs in this in this the social media space, and it keeps me going. That's the that's the crucial part. I mean, that's honestly like the the main reason why you need it, you know. So you can keep pushing to that to the North Star. Yes. Yeah, man. I just want to let's just Cap wrap it, it up. Yep. But what I just want to say is, you know, regardless if you believe or don't believe, like there's still a lot of fear, both sides. Right. So why not just be the person who does believe? Because, you know, I'm fuck, you know, you you believe. I believe but there's still times where you get scared. You know, the fears there still right? all the time. But you got to lean on that belief because why the fuck not? You know, blind faith and belief. Let's go. Let's go. Peace. Peace out, guys.